every EV driver encountered this scenario. This charger doesn't work. What if I tell you you can help the community improve the charging network and get something out of it? And charge! Share your experiences and impressions at the charging station via and charge. Give direct feedback, receive kilometers and stars, collect kilometers and exchange them for charging credits. Use the link in the description and get 20 kilometers for free. Good morning everyone, this is the A6 e-tron from Audi and today I'm gonna do a range test with this car. This is the performance version, that means it has the big battery, 100 kilowatt hours, 95 kilowatt hours can be used, 800 volt system. This car is rear wheel drive, so it's the A6 with the most range that you can get out. Um, has a peak of 280 kilowatt power, can top speed is 210 kilometers an hour. We're not gonna drive this today. This car has 20 inch sport tires on, 265 in the rear, 235 in the front. And one thing, so at home I navigated here to this charger so that the battery will be preheated. And, and it was 16 degrees the battery when I left home and when I arrived here it was 17 degrees after 22 minutes and at 94% the charge at uh, to 100% at home um, I only get 18 19 kilowatt 95% now and it the car tells me it's another 45 minutes to charge not amazing <laughs> You can see the charging power and how long it takes only here, not in the charging menu in the infotainment system. And uh, it's very accurate <laughs> with how much power you're charging. And here's a little bar because this car can charge with a peak of 280 kilowatt and it should 10 to 80% should take 21 or 22 minutes. But 40 minutes from 95% to 100. Eh, I hope that's wrong. I am on my way, you can see my speed in a beautiful head-up display and then of course here in the cockpit. I'm driving 133, that's 130 GPS speed. I reset my trip, I only charged to 98% because the car told me at 98% it's still 30 minutes. And I was, no, I'm not doing that. Battery warmed up from the 17 degrees that I arrived to 28 when I left. So charging warmed it up with 20 kilowatts. So I'm guessing it preheated the battery then, but it didn't preheat on the navigation. And I even clicked on the map and selected the charger. So not search for it. And it told me this has four or six charging stalls with 350 kilowatt. So, eh. Right now my heat setting is just my seat at 22 degrees, so it doesn't heat up the whole car. This car has a heat pump. It's 11 degrees out there, so I'm guessing the heat will go down, so... And then uh, no use for power for heating in, I don't know, half an hour, hour or so. By the way, I'm in efficiency mode and in this car, since it has the air suspension, the car goes down so it has lower consumption. I used 25% of my battery and drove 125 kilometers. This is incredible. That's 500 kilometers of full range. Today with, it was uh, around 10 and a half degrees. Now it's 11 degrees. I have the heat on. I have 20 inch wheels on here. 
So this is incredible. If you imagine in the summer when it's 20 degrees and we have 19 inch wheels on, then it would be even more. This is incredible, wow. And by the way, I forgot to mention, I have the digital mirrors. They, of course, reduce the consumption a bit. And there's something to get used to though. <laughs> but awesome. the Audi A6 e-tron performance on the highway on a long distance trip and it's really really good so suspension is amazing it's extremely comfortable um, noise level in here is awesome hello I didn't expect anything else the cruise control is nice steering assist today with the Sun I know that Audi has great steering assist but today with I don't know, sometimes it steers a bit weird, so it's not perfect today. <laughs> I don't know why. The seats are something different. The seats that are in here, in this configuration, I find them a bit hard. They're not so comfortable. Eh. But other than that, it's a great drive. Range is amazing. Um, <laughs> I'm still wow. This is really great. I love that when a car can do stuff like this and then it charges amazing. Wow. I just had to turn around because there's a traffic jam because of an accident and not traffic jam drive slow and then go on. No, there was standing. It was standing that the accident uh, maybe just happened and nothing is moving, it's just standing. So I had to, luckily it was exactly uh, at a, where I can get off and turn around. So I'm on the way back after not even 200 kilometers and I wanted to go all the way to Munich, Freising and then back. Sadly I can't do that, so I have to go this way and then go back to Regensburg and then go back and because this car can go so far uh, <laughs> we're not even I've only used 40% so far with 200 kilometers driven that's crazy uh, otherwise the drive is amazing <laughs> I have used 50% of my battery and drove 244 kilometers, so full range of 488. It went down a bit, even though my consumption went down. So the state of charge is not perfectly linear. Um, I even turned down my heat and everything. It's warmer out there now, 13 and a half degrees. Other than that, the drive is amazing. Um, I will go now to where I turned around before and then go back to the Georgia. We drive around 400 kilometers and see with how much state of charge we arrive back at the Georgia. I navigated back to the Georgia, so I really went back to Regensburg where I was before. Um, it's 93 kilometers to go. The car thinks I arrived with 14%. I'm at 37% right now. We'll see because there's the 10 kilometers downhill at the end. I think I will arrive with a higher state of charge, but it's fine. We will then drove around 390 kilometers of the pass. Car doesn't slow down. <laughs> Adaptive cruise control takes a bit, um, uh, which I like, by the way. Um, so it doesn't slow you down far, far ahead. I like that a lot. Yeah, drive was nice. Other than that, I have to pass a few times and have to accelerate a bit because everyone's driving 130 today. So to pass someone who's driving 128, I have to speed up a tiny bit. That's okay. So. I arrived with 18%, drove 389.2 kilometers, average consumption 179 watt hours per kilometer, 197, which is amazing. 
Um, I cannot c uh, calculate the real kilometers yet. I have to do that at home with Google Maps, what the real distance was. But for now, we're gonna take the kilometers that I've driven, what the car says. I plugged in, I get 270 kilowatt at 22%. Power 800 volt system is just amazing. But it's 693 volts, so way lower than, for example, the e-tron GT. Huh. But still, it was a great drive. So I calculated the range and again, this range is based on the kilometers that the car shows. I don't know the real kilometers yet, but you can see it in this graph. When you go through this graph, you see the temperature, the tire sizes. Then if I used heat, then the kilometers driven, the real kilometers that Google says. And then also on the bottom, you see the range 100 to 0% and 80 to 10% what we usually drive on the highway. Then you can see it. What I calculate right now is 486 kilometers at 130 which is amazing today it was 10 and a half degrees the coldest and now it's around 18 degrees um, it's nice and sunny but still with 20 inch winter wheel uh, 20 inch summer tires so if this car would have 19 inch wheels and you do that with 20 you get at least 500 kilometers of range at 130 that's just awesome and incredible wow i'm really impressed um, I'm charged to 80% and do the next range test. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BattyLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.